everyone, welcome to today's video. Now, lo and behold, Isaac Butterfield has responded to my shopping center activism event that we did with Animal Rights Activism Sydney. I knew he was going to respond. He's already made multiple videos about me and other vegans. He's got his back up with vegans. He gets a lot of views from these vegan videos, these anti-vegan videos, and I knew he was going to do it. So I've been awaiting that response and here it is. So the video is entitled Criminal Gang Member Turned Vegan Activist. In the thumbnails, it's me behind bars and in quotation saying very stabby. We're gonna go through this video point for point now. It's gonna become apparent that Isaac Butterfield is a massive hypocrite. There's just no question about it. But let's listen to what he has to say. As far as crazy psycho vegans are concerned, there's two that stand out in my mind. Number one is Vegan Gangs, who carries on like an absolute pork chop, has threatened many people over his entire career on the YouTubes, and he's great fun to poke fun at. But number two is a certain somebody that let's as a group attack today. This motherfucker's name is Joey Armstrong, but you may know him as Joey Carbstrong. So here he is making videos against vegans to get a group to go and attack them. Now here Isaac Butterfield's just, you know, going on about the character of vegan gains and the character of me and these character attacks about how we're the worst vegans on earth. What about Isaac Butterfield? What type of comedian is this guy? Now I'm all about, you know, ha having a bit of fun here and there. It's okay to have a joke, but who does Isaac joke at the expense of? Do you know the children who are brought up in a Catholic household are far less likely to have sex as teenagers in comparison to kids who are not brought up in a Catholic household? Isn't that interesting? And we all know why that is. It's because Catholic kids have enough sex as kids. <laughs> so Isaac Butterfield makes fun of children having sex. When children don't have sex, they're actually raped. So... I don't know if you think that's funny, Isaac. I don't think that's funny. Do you think it's funny to stand up on stage and make money out of child rape jokes? So how can we expect Isaac to give a shit about animals when he doesn't give a shit about children being raped? Let's continue. He's an Aboriginal guy with a lot of white characteristics, like a job. And <laughs> I wish that I had something wrong with me, like I was a woman or black. And I cannot stand starving African children. If you don't know much about Australian history, Australia was invaded by Britain and they caused a massive holocaust of the Aboriginal people. They stole a generation of children and tried to breed this generation out with white families. Horrible thing the Aboriginal race went through in Australia. And you know, going on like, you wish there was something wrong with you, like you're black or a woman. I don't think there's anything wrong with being black or a woman. And I don't know why you hate starving African children so much. Saddened recently by the death of Stephen Hawking. That was an interesting segue. So was he. Uh... So making fun of Stephen Hawking for being disabled, calling him a segue, an interesting segue. A segue is like a motorized, you know, scooter type thing that people ride around on. So he's making fun of disabled people here too. Right, she was a mad lesbian. Like she went down more often than Malaysian Airlines. She... <laughs> Yeah, that deserves a round of applause. 150 people died, yeah, absolutely. So just encouraging the crowd to applaud a plane crash where 150 people died. I'm just, look, I'm not into getting into the ad hominem attacks and attacking someone's character, but if he's gonna come at me for certain things about my character, let's just have a look at Isaac. Is he really one to talk? Do I stand up there making fun of, you know, child rape? of black people, of starving African children, of horrific plane crashes. No. Anyway, this shit for brains has been storming supermarkets and carrying on like an absolute cock smoker yet again. Trying to push his shit doctrine about meat as murder, abuse, etc. Basically yelling at people because of their dietary choices. Do you think a doctrine that is a against the cruelty and abuse to innocent animals is a shit doctrine? Well, I wouldn't expect you to care much because you don't seem to care about any other issue or anyone else other than yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Carb Armstrong, he's got a very sinister past that I think we all need to know about. <laughs> and it is my job in front of all you people to dish this dickhead's dirt. It will be dished soon, trust me. Stick around for this, you want to see this shit. Well, you know what, mate? I was the first one to dish the dirt on myself. So if you're going to do what everyone else does and read through articles that the media wrote and, you know, act like Mr. Know-it-all, when really I was the one who released all of this information, I've been completely transparent about my past and my transformation, so... But firstly, if you don't know who he is, let's get to know him. 
What, what, what are you going to tell everyone that they don't already know? I want you to ask yourself a question. What's more extreme, aggressive and forceful? Forcibly breeding billions of animals for the sole purpose of forcing a knife into their neck and forcing them to die? Hmm, it sounds like you're FORCING your opinion on us, dickhead! You're forcing your opinion on animals who are being forced into slaughterhouses so you can force a burger down your throat. How quiet would you want us to be if you were the victim? Um, Joey, if I was being chopped up and sold in a supermarket, I don't think your little group of mind wash fucking mingers would be able to save me from fucking anything. I think it's a little bit too late at that point. It might be a little bit too late for those animals who are chopped up in the supermarket shelves, but it's not too late for you to stop contributing to the billions of animals who will be bred into existence and thrown into slaughterhouses and chopped up in the future. I don't expect you to understand what it's like to be a victim, Isaac. I don't know if you've ever been victimised yourself or bullied, subjugated, you know, known what it's like to be facing the barrel of a gun about to die like these cows and pigs and chickens or pigs thrown into gas chambers like they do in Australia and across Europe and, and uh, Britain. I don't expect you to know what that feels like. And someone who makes such distasteful jokes about oppressed people, I don't really expect you to understand what it's like to be an oppressed animal. Terry Australia sent us to show the industry practices here. The poor manager at Coles here, he's sitting there thinking, Jesus Christ, this $19.50 that I get paid an hour is nowhere near enough to deal with these fucking cretins from the lowest, scummiest portion of society that exists. The vegan. So just remember this Isaac Butterfield, he's like a shock offensive comedian. I don't think he actually believes vegans are the lowest cretins of society. I personally think people who abuse children and animals are among the lowest cretins of society. You know, racist groups like the KKK and other, you know, racist groups who go and attack people because of their skin colour and kill people because of their skin colour. And I think they're some of the lowest cretins of society, not vegans who are just like you, but they give a shit about what happens to animals. So they, they take the bobby calves off the, the mothers here, stealing bobby calves, murdering uh, small infant animals. That's where cheese comes from. And why do they have TVs hanging around their necks? We're showing what happens to dairy cows and calves, bobby calves getting, you know, <laughs> horrifically tortured and murdered, chopped up into pieces. And instead of addressing the message, this is what Isaac's actually a master of, he either attacks the messenger or he appeals to hypocrisy. So when the message is hard to debate, see we've got we've got evidence on the screens and anyone can look into the standard practice of the dairy industry and how horrific and cruel and abusive it is and it's just torturing billions of animals for their milk basically. It's really unnecessary and just pure slavery. The best he can come up with is what about those TVs around your neck? And on that point, the TVs actually look quite cheap. So I think, even though they're talking about animal abuse here, what about the tiny Chinese children that built those TVs for four cents a fucking year? Did you think about them, Joey Carbstrong, you absolute twat? So first he needs to show me where these small Chinese children are that are earning four cents a year to make the TVs in particular that these activists are holding. Um, and secondly, there's a massive difference between a literal holocaust of trillions of beings who are hacked up on a plate for non-vegans and labour to build products that may or may not involve some exploitation, some form of exploitation. But again, these products might be bringing an industry to a country that needs jobs, okay, where people can buy food for their families. Now, if you want to point at every single product in the world, there might be varying degrees of, you know, ethical implications there. Now, there is definitely a distinction between a camera, a computer, and a phone. Between that and the dairy that was stolen from the udder of a cow who was then hung up by her hoof and slashed across the throat. I don't know anywhere in the world where humans are being systematically enslaved and cut up into pieces to feed the population. It's just not happening. Of course I'm against slavery. If there's children being enslaved, that's a bad thing. 
okay? We don't want that to happen. But we need to make a distinction between low pay, labor to build electronics that brings industry and income into a country where the alternative to that is to be literally enslaved or the alternative to working in an electronics factory is to be out on the streets and starving. There's a distinction between that, okay, and the animal holocaust. How does the fact that there's varying degrees of, you know, ethical implications of certain products give you the right to support something which is as black and white as rape and murder three times a day when you sit down for a meal? You cannot be a perfect human being, but you can do things which would greatly reduce the suffering and death of billions of animals. You can do that very easily, very easily a small lifestyle change, but you can't solve all the problems in the world. But this one here, where it's legal to enslave and kill and chop up and murder billions of animals, in Australia, in the UK, across the world, this is completely legal, they have no rights at all. This is by far the most horrific practice human beings are involved with. This is that nothing comes close to this in the Western world, across the world. The amount of brutal, torturous deaths we commit against animals every single day. There's no industry that even comes close to even knocking at the door of how horrific this is. Uh, Joey, that's not social distancing, mate. Uh, again, that's not social distancing. Don't worry about the, the cows and stuff being raped and killed on the screens. Just worry about social distancing when this was actually filmed a month before those social distancing measures were put in place, but Isaac doesn't do any research. We work for the animals, mate. So Let's just listen to that again. Did you just say you work for the animals? Yes, I work for the animals. I do my activism on behalf of the animals. Animals can't defend themselves, so they need human beings, obviously, to speak up for them. You don't know what it's like to speak up for a victim. I don't know if you ever have, unless you're making some bullshit virtue signaling video about how you're upset Vegan Gains uh, said something about someone who had cancer. You don't really give a shit about victims. You don't know what it's like to be a voiceless animal stuck in a cage about to be stabbed to death. So of course they need us to work for them. Who else is going to? Not you. We work for the animals, mate. So <laughs> do you listen to yourself when you speak, Joey? Of course I do. Of course I listen to myself when I speak. Do you? Catholic kids have enough sex as kids. Do you listen to yourself when you're t making fun of children being raped? The psychological trauma that happens to a child after being abused? Do you know what that's like to be a child uh, that's raped and can't live the rest of their life normally? But no, you stand up on stage and make fun of it. Come on, mate. I don't have any communication with anyone, so... You know, the manager here seems a little bit frightened, a little bit taken back. Perhaps, just perhaps, maybe he's heard a little bit about Joey's past. Let's hear what other people have had to say about Joey. Let's read some reports on the old interwebs about Joey Armstrong. So now he's going to go onto the internet to find his information about me, who is actually a real person, who you can have a conversation with any day of the week, mate. You can have a chat with me, we can talk about my life, but you're going to take the media and sensationalized articles as gospel? Mate, I thought you were smarter than that. According to alleged reports, Mr. Carbstrong, 32, was caught with a loaded, sawn-off shotgun with 29 bullets and a flick knife in September 2011. Whoa! Congratulations, mate. You found something out that I've been completely honest and open about. Yeah, do you know when 2011 was, mate? That's nine years ago, dude. Nine bloody years ago, nearly. Now, what? What about it? I've been completely open that I got caught with a firearm. My, my latest post on Instagram just yesterday was talking exactly about this. I'm not trying to hide my past, okay? Now, now, Mr. Isaac, I guarantee you there's some things about you that people don't know, right? And I guarantee you that there's things that you've done wrong in your past, when you've been drunk, whatever it might be, and you're coming at me for my dirt, Everyone has dirt. Everyone has varying degrees of dirt on them. Okay, I've been open about mine. I'm co I continue to be open about mine. I'm trying to be a better person. What are you trying to do? That is definitely a dude that you want to get mentored from, or you want to take advice from. Well, they definitely shouldn't take advice from you, Mr. Child Rape Apologist, uh, making fun of 
uh, planes being crashed, 150 people dying, thinking being black and being a woman is bad. Um, you know, I wouldn't be taking advice off you either, mate. At least I've turned my life around. I haven't assaulted anyone since I've been a vegan. I've, in fact, I've abstained from violence since I've been a vegan. I've just tried to stop the violence happening to animals. A dude who rocks around with a fucking deadly weapon in his pants. A dude who used to rock around with a deadly weapon in his pants because I was in a violent environment and I had no choice. So I had to defend myself from dangerous people. What was I supposed to do? Now that's a lot different to subjugating, enslaving and murdering innocent animals, isn't it? Defending yourself in a world that is full of violence with a firearm, okay? Because you're gonna have to shoot someone if they try to kill you. Or getting some birds, enslaving them and cutting their heads off. Birds who can't defend themselves. Is there a, there's a massive moral difference with that, mate. Carbstrong defended himself. He said he fell in with the wrong crowd. After leaving school, eventually turning to crime and dealing drugs to support his own habit. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what good people do. See, listen to this guy. I don't know what type of privilege you come from, mate, but when you come from the, where I come from, and I'm not saying I was as underprivileged as many people, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I, of course I was born in a country of priv privilege, but there were certain factors in my environment and my lifestyle and my family that you know, might have traumatized me, led me to drug use, led me to being, uh, you know, involved with these violent gangs and, and the mentors that I chose weren't, you know, as good a role models as they could have been. And I was led down this path and that was to do with my environment and my, you know, the things that happened to me. And, you know, I used drugs to deal with my environment and this is how addiction works. And you think that's funny, you say it like with a condescending voice. And that just says to me that you haven't lived a day of fucking suffering in your life, mate. That you don't know, really know what it's like to be, uh, to, you know, be in a situation that, you know, really, really harms your mental state and, you know, feeling trapped. And you, you turn to drugs, you turn to these things, you turn to gangs because you don't really have anything else. You don't have any direction. So you're standing there like condescending, oh yeah, child rape is funny, oh yeah, black black people are bad, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh look at this guy, he's a junkie, oh yeah, look at this guy, he was a criminal, oh, don't take advice from him. You haven't lived a day of suffering in your life, mate. He spent much of his youth using cannabis, meth, nice one, Joe, and drinking alcohol. Oh, but you don't make, you go meth, you, meth in capitals, you know, meth is obviously not as socially acceptable, but alcohol, I'm gonna tell you, you drink alcohol, Isaac, you drink alcohol and every single violent act I've committed, nearly, nearly every single violent act I've committed, nearly everything I've done that I've regretted, I did when I was drunk on alcohol, okay? So now if alcohol's bad, makes you such a bad person, why do you drink it? Alcohol's responsible for killing more people than meth is. <laughs> I guarantee you, car accidents, people get drunk and they punch someone and then kill them with one hit. Um, you know, people that go on drunken, you know, violent episodes and bash their wife to death and alcohol is a poison. Why don't you speak out about that? No, it's because I smoked meth and, you know, that was the most horrific thing I did. Now, if all these things are true, and I don't know if they are, but the Daily Mail is a pretty reputable source. I think we're gonna have to change your name to Junkie Joey. Well, he's making fun of people who are, are drug addicts, you know, and people who are drug addicts are good people that went down the wrong path, a lot of them, many of them. Many people who turn to drugs is because of their environment or they might ha have psychological trauma, PTSD, and they use drugs as a way of escaping their environment or dealing with their environment. But he wouldn't know shit about what it's like to live in the real world because Mr. Isaac, Mr. I'm so bloody privileged, I've never seen a, an ounce of suffering in my life. I've, my life's been perfect, That my, my entire years have been perfect and I had a perfect family. I don't really know, maybe he has lived through suffering. See, attacking my character, attacking the point that I use drugs and all of this shit, it's all white noise, mate. What has that got to do with the message that I have? You're trying to discredit my message by discrediting me. The message is the same. Animals are being tortured and killed by the billions for animal agriculture, for products we, we really can live without. Can, like, these products are cruel, unnecessary, causing massacre of animals. And for what, a burger we can get vegan options for? But no, 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 it's, I'm a junkie, I'm an I'm a ex-criminal, which I've been completely open about, uh, and therefore that discredits my message. But also, fuck me dead, are you taking dietary advice for someone who used to drink piss all day and smoke fucking meth? I'm not here to give dietary advice. I'm not a dietitian. I'm an animal rights activist. I'm trying to explain to people that animals deserve to live without being subjugated and suffered and harmed. Okay, and we can, we can definitely get rid of the vast majority of animal harm. Like I'm talking by adopting a vegan lifestyle. We can, we can nearly 
eradicate most harm to animals. Of course, there's going to be some harm from civilization. Civilization causes harm to humans and animals. It doesn't mean we have to cause a holocaust on top of the harm civilization already causes. That's not a great nutrition regime. It's just not. Like, it's pretty fucking obvious. Wouldn't you agree, Joey? A great nutrition regime. Like, look, if you want nutritional advice, just check out the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. They say your vegan diet can be healthy for all stages of the life cycle, infancy, pregnancy, adulthood. Absolutely fine to have a well-planned plant-based diet. But veganism is a moral philosophy against the exploitation and cruelty to animals, as far as is practicable and possible. This is a mother. She's raped her whole life, had her children stolen and murdered for cheese and milk. So boycott dairy products and meat products. They're horrible and animal abuse. This, ladies and gentlemen, says it all. Now, there is nothing incorrect about what I said there. If you don't know these things about the dairy industry by now, you're living under a rock or you're just being willfully ignorant. The amount of suffering and violence the dairy industry causes cannot be measured against any other injustice. Any other human holocaust, any other human act of cruelty and violence is dwarfed by magnitudes fold in comparison to what we do to animals in the dairy industry, even as a single issue, the dairy industry. Where in history have billions of people been murdered consecutively year after year after year after year after year? Yeah, well, Dairy Industry Australia wanted us to show what happens in between and not what they show on the... Uh, have you got any people? On several occasions in this video, Joey has stated that he was asked by Dairy Australia to actually come to this supermarket. So I thought I'd hit up Dairy Australia and ask if Joey Carbstrong, sorry, Junkie Joey, was on their books. I said, hey guys, good start. I'm currently researching a video about a former gang member, allegedly, turned a vegan activist. Not allegedly. Junkie Joey from Recently he stormed a coal store, link below. On several occasions he stated that he received permission from Dairy Australia to attend the store to show the alleged animal cruelty of the dairy industry as a whole. Can you confirm that you invited this little Joey? Unfortunately, I received no response. So in this clip here, he's contacting Dairy Australia to see if they actually did give me permission to go into that supermarket. Obviously, it was said in jest. Obviously, they would never give me permission to go into a supermarket to expose their horrific industry. I wish they did get back to you and go, well, he shouldn't be saying that. And I'll be like, well, let's look at the evidence. It's not alleged that the dairy industry is cruel and abusive. It's absolutely prevalent in the industry. The whole industry is built. The foundations of the industry, the, the standard practices of the dairy industry are cruel and abusive. There is no debate about it. Perhaps they are scared. And I would be scared too. Because remember, milk is murder. Milk is rape. Milk is sexual assault. Milk is murder. Dairy cows are raped by definition. And milk is a product of sexual abuse. You cannot hide from that. Dairy cows are held down in a rack. They have a fist put into their rectum. Their cervix is held in place and a pipette full of bull semen is injected into them to impregnate them. That's rape. Milk is everything bad in this world. It's milk. This milk is violence and torture. And I think there's only one way that we can deal with milk from now on. And that is this way. So now he's got this skit here where he's got a milk bottle tied up and he's stabbing it. Trying to, he's, he's a comedian, he's trying to be funny, he's trying to poke fun at my criminal history and this is what we should do to the dairy industry. If that represented the dairy industry, like, if, that, if this was symbolic of the destruction of the dairy industry, I'd be all for it. But I'm not for stabbing people in the dairy industry. I want them to stop stabbing the dairy cows in the throat though, that would be great. And I think at this point we learn something that we really should all take on board about vegan activists and Junkie Joey as well. Is they might talk about all these horrible things that have they've made up in their own mind. Nothing that I've said about the dairy industry I've made up in my mind. Now you've made up some humane slaughter, dairy is nutritious fairy tale. Actually, you didn't make that up. They fed you that propaganda and you swallowed it hook, line and sinker. I was fed the same propaganda about milk being good for your bones and humane farms and high welfare meat and it's nutritious for you. I was fed that same bullshit liar that you were. But I decided to use my brain and look into the dairy industry for myself instead of believing what the industry told me or believing what Isaac tells me about it and actually look into it and actually found out all of these abusive practices were completely standard. 
completely standard. So if you don't give a shit about animals, support the dairy industry. If you don't give a shit about suffering of innocent beings, support the dairy industry. If you do, if you do care about animals, you care about your dog at home, you don't want to see a cow get tortured and killed, boycott the dairy industry and all products that involve animals. Because they might talk about all these horrible things that have they've made up in their own mind about meat being murder, and meat is murder, obviously. You have to kill something to eat it, but it's what human beings have been doing since the dawn of time. So here he goes again with this supremacist attitude he seems to have against everyone, including animals. Uh, we've done it since the dawn of time. <laughs> Isaac, mate, do you think that justifies something horrifically cruel and abusive because we've done it since the dawn of time? You know? You know what else humans have probably done since the dawn of time? Raped and killed each other? Now, because we've done that to each other since the dawn of time, does that make it moral to do it today? Should we be mapping our morality by the actions of cavemen? Obviously not. I don't even think he believes that. He just spews nonsense. He probably heard that from someone else. We are an animal. We're at the top of the food chain. Most animals are herbivorous. You're top of the food chain. No, you're not. What food chain? I'll throw you in the ocean with a shark and see how top of the food chain you are. Now, Isaac, Mr. Top of the Food Chain, goes into his supermarket to buy his little processed, packaged little piece of sanitary, hacked off body of an animal and puts it on a barbecue at home. How is that top of the food chain, mate? Now, we've just cleverly learned how to enslave and kill innocent beings, and we can cleverly learn how to enslave and kill each other as well. Now, if we were to use top of the food chain, we're superior argument against each other, that could justify some horrific abuses to children who are vulnerable, to vulnerable uh, populations of people. That we are top of the food chain argument is just human supremacist bullshit that, that makes you feel okay with anyone who's perceived below us being hacked up and murdered for you. So fuck everything else. So fuck everything else and fuck everyone else, how's that reckons? We've decided as a species that it's okay to eat cows, lambs, all that shit. Yeah, we've just decided. So we can also decide that it's cruel, unnecessary, and violent, can't we? We can also decide that, eh bro? Why don't you decide that? And we will continue to do so. And I think this is the most important point. I've tried reasoning with vegans, I've tried arguing with them. You haven't tried reasoning with us, Isaac. You've just made a bunch of videos slating the shit out of us, getting your followers to come to my page and spew nonsense towards me, ad hominem attacks. It, look, this whole video is you attacking my character. I think we just come to this point and say, who gives a shit? We're gonna eat meat whether you like it or not, you malnourished cocksmokers. How am I malnourished? I ran a hundred kilometers straight in one day. I don't see you doing that, mate. That doesn't sound like the actions of someone who's malnourished. I'm in pretty good shape, mate. I'm 33 years old. Pretty good shape. Been vegan for nearly seven years. Who's malnourished here? Who gives a shit? I don't expect you in particular to give a shit, Isaac, but I do expect people who give a fuck about what happens to animals to give a shit. Now, you're going to do it whether we like it or not. I agree. You probably will. But not everyone. Not everyone agrees that it's okay. So those people who do agree that it's wrong are going to stop. So that's the whole idea of animal rights and vegan activism. We're trying to reach out to people who have half a heart, who do care, and you know, people who are willing to like include animals in their circle of compassion, which I don't think you're really there yet, mate. You think you're just too much ego there, bro. Too much ego. That's why you, you, you can make these jokes about disabled people, black people, and you know, child rape without any remorse. Um, you really haven't got there yet, mate. But hopefully one day you do. Only animal abusers consume milk that was stolen from a mother who lost her child and was slaughtered in a slaughterhouse. No one gives a shit, Joe. Shut the fuck up. Only animal abusers consume these products. Okay, I do. Okay. Once again, no one cares, Joe. And that's sad that no one cares. That no one cares that they're actually abusing these animals when they purchase these products. I want people to understand that if you do care about animals and you do pay for these products, you're paying for the most horrific abuse and torture on earth. So if you don't want to be an animal abuser, you know, abusing and murdering trillions of animals a year as human beings as a race, then boycott it. Stop doing it. Very easy. Become a vegan. Now, you can be your own type of person. Just because you become vegan doesn't mean your character automatically changes. You just get woken up to what's going on to animals. You can be whoever you want to be. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be out there like I am. You can be yourself, but just stop paying for animals to be stabbed in the throat. This isn't food. This is a murdered animal. 
These are murdered birds. Disgusting. Look at that. Fuck birds. They suck. They poo on people. See his attitude? Like, fuck birds. Like, you really don't care about animals at all. So, you tried reasoning with vegans, I've tried reasoning with them. You can't be reasoned with, dude. You don't give a shit about any birds. So what, what, all birds like, you know, eagles and parrots and chickens and, you know, turkeys and everyone. All of those birds, who gives a shit about them? Cut their heads off, torture them, kill them, because Isaac says, fuck birds, they shit on people. You shit on people. Your whole job as a comedian, your whole shock tactic comedian Bullshit is shitting on people. You're shitting on me in this video. You're shitting on the animals. You don't give a shit. Fruits and vegetables, much better. Soy milk, rice milk, almond milk. Oh, potatoes, soy milk, rice milk, oat milk. Does that get your dick hard, Joey? You fucking weird cunt. I don't know, Isaac. Does talking about children being raped get your dick hard, mate? Because it definitely doesn't to me. It's disgusting. And no, animal abuse doesn't get to my dick hard. It makes me sick to my stomach. And no, um, you know, it doesn't make me feel good to go into a supermarket to do this shit. It was uncomfortable, I was quite nervous, but it got it made media and it got people thinking or talking about the animal cruelty in the dairy industry. Even they go, oh, that guy, he's too aggressive and rude and forceful. And you know, well, I, I just want people to choose the alternatives to the horrific abuse and cruelty in the dairy, meat and egg industries easily in the supermarket, they can make that choice. What's the problem with that? Yeah, it does make me feel good when people go vegan and lots of people have gone vegan from my work. Some people are turned off, but they get the message though. If you haven't got that message, I was like, you're thinking this through. Have you thought this message through? What we're trying to say? What? It's so easy for you to avoid this shit. It's so easy for you to. You're very far off from making any type of ethical connection to a pig or a chicken or a cow. You've been so heavily conditioned to see these animals as worthless, as nothing, as products. I just don't see you ever changing. Um, but that doesn't mean everyone's going to be like you, dude. That doesn't mean everyone's going to be like you. I changed my entire life around. You seem to use my criminal history against me. And we're going to talk about that in the next video I make about, about Isaac. But you're just trying to attack the character of vegans instead of really understanding the message we're trying to promote. And I know so many of your fans are going to come here and attack me because, you know, you've made it you know, socially acceptable to ridicule vegans. I'm trying to make it socially unacceptable to torture and kill animals. Shoot the messenger all you like. You can't attack the message. That's why your video is full of bullshit character attacks. You get so many views from uh, putting vegans down for trying to do the right thing. I don't expect you to change again. And the next video, I'm going to address my criminal history and his blatant hypocrisy about the media. And we're going to talk that through as well. But Isaac... You know, grow up, stop abusing animals, go vegan. And meat is murder, obviously.